Hey there, how is it going everybody? This is Gabriel from OA Genius and today I'm going to walk you through how to set up your Gravity account. So to get started, you'll click the start a free trial button uh, on the Gravity page. The way I got here was I went to products, I went to Gravity extension, it brought me to this page and then I click start a free trial. You can also click free trial up here and choose product sourcing. So what you'll enter is your first name, Last name, email, password. You want to confirm the password and phone number. Let's get started. From here, all you have to do is click download extension. It'll bring you to the store. Uh, right now I have it downloaded, so I'll just click remove from Chrome for now, and then I'll click add to Chrome just to show you, for example, add extension. Once the extension is added, you'll notice it'll be taken to a new page. On this page, we'll have a little welcome video to Gravity, the ability to sign in using the same email and password uh, as you did before. Right, and then the password as well. You enter the password to log in. So right here and there, I'm logged in. But what you'll want to do as well is you'll click configure account. And that'll bring you inside your account if you want to change your first name, last name, email, or phone number, old password, new password. Uh, if you want to change your password, you can get over here on the accounts. You have marketplaces page. This is optional. You can uh, you can enter your Amazon credentials into OA Genius download extension, which we've already been through. Uh, you've already downloaded the extension. And lastly, there's the billing page. Great. Now that the uh, extension is downloaded, and you've added the extension to your Chrome extensions, what you can do is you're gonna head over to somewhere such as walmart.com. We have a list of supported suppliers inside our help center, whether you're sourcing for Amazon or sourcing for Walmart. Right now, let's just do an example of sourcing for Amazon. Let's say we, we choose uh, toy chest right search for toy chest and all you have to do to work the extension is you wait for the page to load you click over here the gravity extension it'll load up the all the results and from here you can choose inside the settings whether you want to source for FBA or FBM or Walmart Marketplace. If you choose Walmart Marketplace, we'll recalculate to tell you how much profit you'll make on Walmart Marketplace. Estimate shipping. If you want to estimate tax, you can estimate the tax as well. Over here, you can check off filters. So if you want to do a min and max ROI, sales rank, net profit, profit margin, you can set your min and max. So let's just to say, I want to see a minimum net profit of a penny. I can do that over here. And it'll take those 26 results and narrow it down to four based off the net profit. Let's say I only want to see FBM and not any FBA offerings, I can uncheck that as well. And right off the bat, you have some items that you can go ahead and source. You can click extract all and it'll extract all pages uh, related to this category. So if you look very closely, you have about 25 pages total um, that you can click extract all for. So it'll be super handy, click extract all, it'll load up that for you. Um, if you want to add products to a buy list, which is a short list of products that you've listed source for the day, you can click this little plus button. It'll bring it to your buy list. You can you can clear the buy list. You can export the buy list and upload it to Sage Amazon or Sage Walmart. Uh, you'll just want to use the required templates in order to get those products uploaded. And lastly, you can click this purple plus button and it'll auto, auto list the products in the lister tool uh, on Sage Amazon or Sage Walmart. If you have any questions, just feel free to contact us at success at oagenius.com.